What's up guys, Adrian Montero Jr. here. That's right, that's the first time I've used my last name in a video, Montero right there. So we're out here doing a little bit of fishing. Uh, we're looking to catch some bass. The bite, you know, it's it's been pretty tough lately. We haven't been out in a while, so we're gonna try to find these bass. The US Open's actually here soon, and they always say the bite gets really tough around the US Open because you got all these people out here smashing the bass. But we're gonna do our best. We're gonna try to get on some fish. Should be a good time if you guys stick around. Uh, we got some cool things we're going to show you guys. So we're just going to be fishing a variety of baits here. You know, we're going to start off with top water and we're going to start moving deep. We're just trying to locate these bass. Water's pretty warm right now. It's 78 degrees, almost 80 degree water. So that's pretty warm. So most likely we're going to be catching some jigging and stuff. But it's always fun to just test around everything. You never know, you might get a good top water bite. And that's hard to beat a good top water bite. But we're going to go ahead and cast around. See if we can't get on some good fish. And once again, if you guys stick around, we've got something cool to show you. But we're going to go ahead and get to casting. See if we can't catch a couple big fish here. So really quick, I want to take a second out of this video to thank Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring this video. And what this is, is it's pretty much a monthly subscription. You can get awesome baits sent to your doorstep every month. Uh, awesome new baits, innovative baits. One reason why I like it is because it sends something new and different every month that goes with the seasons that you're going to be fishing. And um, it just gives you an opportunity to kind of spread your horizons and fish new baits. For example, this month came with a topwater duck. I've never fished one before, I'm definitely going to give it a try. It's just things like that are the reason I love it because you get new baits every month and some of these baits you'll never think to try. So if you guys actually use promo code SINCITY, you can get your first box for as low as $5. Pretty much everything in here you can get up to 40% off retail price. So everything in here is discounted. You're pretty much saving money every month also by getting this box. So last month was my first month actually being sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. And I'll tell you what, I can already, I love the whole idea behind it. And all you guys that use promo code SINCITY to get your first box for $5, I really do appreciate you guys. I want to thank you guys greatly because that really helps out this channel. It helps us stay out here creating content for you guys. If it wasn't for you guys, none of this would be possible. And I just really want to thank you guys. All right, so what I'm going to be using today out of this mystery tackle box, I think I'm going to start off with these Lunker City right here, these Lunker City fishing specialties. And also, it's got a bunch of stuff. I might toss that jig around a little bit, but I'm going to pair that up with these hooks that came, these size four hooks right here. Size four hooks, I'm gonna throw that on and I got some tungsten bullet weights. So I'm gonna go ahead and fish Texas rig to start off. I'm also gonna throw this right here. Carl's Amazing Baits. The little thwacker looks like that's what it's called, thwacker. It's a little lipless crankbait right there. I'm gonna throw that also a little bit. Lunker Hunt Prop Frog. That should be fun. Plenty of cool baits in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this. Good old trust. Yeah, I know I can catch bass on this right here. Awesome looking bait. I've honestly never seen any baits like this before it's pretty cool looking pretty sure it'll work fishing around these rocks and stuff and these weeds jeez it's weird there's so many shad thriving i just lost that fish Trying to get these fails, a tiny one, but still I wanted to get a fish on camera. We're, we're trying to get it all on camera and you lost them. Back up and what? Yeah, I'm trying to get my bait fell off back here. Oh, okay. Got First him. fish of the day, huh? Or second you hooked. Second fish of the day. Here we go. Little guy. First one was about a pound. This guy's a couple ounces. You're drop shotting some little bait. What's that? That's that 10,000 fish. Yeah. Made by 10,000 fish. 10, it's a little... Fish, little drop shot. Yeah. Ooh. A little... That's actually Fish looking thing. Carl's bait and tackle. So I cheated. And this is 10,000 fish. Look at that. Little bass. Look at that. I get close up. Make them look bigger. <laughs> fish number two. Actually one. I didn't get the first one in the boat. That's why I didn't catch him. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Check this out. Get him. Get him. Get him. Sweet. Let's go. Nice. Catch bigger ones now or Perfect. more. <laughs> Check it out. There's a ram right there. Literally, we were just talking about how we've seen rams in this cove before. Next thing you know, there's a ram up there on that hillside walking on them red rocks. I thought it was a deer at first. I was going to say, what the heck's going on? That's the pride and joy of Nevada right there. You do not want to mess with the, the rams in Nevada. You poach one of those things or mess with them, you'll go to prison. 
Guaranteed. Even if you find a dead head, you gotta turn it in. They won't let you keep it. All right, I'm gonna go with a little bit bigger of a bait. This one came in the mystery tackle box by Yum. It's a finesse worm. What color is this? Bourbon Bry. Pretty much brown with little, little flakes in it. Just throw it on a drop shot. Hopefully it gets me a little bit bigger fish. These little ones keep biting like crazy. This peak. You got him? Oh! Oh, I just lost this fish. Seeing you went and caught him. Look at that. <laughs> that was that. It's all good. It's all good. I don't even have a trailer on mine. That's that uh, yum, huh? These yum finesse worms. Yeah. I He's got it drop shotted. I just explained that I was going to drop shot that. I mean, tiny bass. We're all excited, but this time of year. With the U.S. Open, all the pressure, everything that's going on, this is, I mean. Oh, yeah, the U.S. Open's coming up. Yeah. So there's boaters everywhere right now fishing. That's actually a really good bass for this time of year. <laughs> Top water, pretty much 80-degree water, too. All right, there it is, bass number three. Dang, you're killing me here. Killing me, Smalls. All right. Let's do it. Let's get a big one. I was fishing this Z-Man little jig here. And uh, that bass right there bit my hook and stole my trailer. Didn't quite hook him up. And then senior cast right on top and caught him. You it's know all good. You gotta do it. Yep. Back up. Yep. I told him to. Also, I was like, "Dang, he stole my trailer, cast." So I wouldn't call it quite a steal, but a finishing job. Finish clean or clean up job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Clean up. <laughs> so far, all these bass have been in deeper water. Quite a bit deeper in shade. They've all been sitting in shade too, so that's one thing we're noticing right now with this hotter weather, this hotter water, weather and water. They're sitting in this deeper shaded water. Oh, I just had one, dang it. You just missed one? Yeah. They keep taking off the, the trailer. <laughs> oh, I got a fish. Oh, got him. Oh man, nah, I'm good. What the heck? What the heck is that? It's a zombie fish. Stop. Adrian just caught a zombie fish. What? I feel bad for the guy. Oh, he just wanted a little free meal. He's skinny. That thing is not gonna survive much longer, I'd say. Jeez. Well, we're gonna go ahead and let him go. Dude, that's like, that's insane. The... I've never seen a bass that skinny before. Yeah, uh, me neither. I wish we had a shad or something throw it down his throat. Yeah. Did we get a picture? That guy's too weak. He's even got parasites. We're just going to go ahead and let him go. See if he can even swim off. I mean, this thing. Here we go. He bit like so soft, he didn't even really take it very hard. That's probably why he bit that jig. It's so slow moving. Yeah. There he goes. Yeah, that's a weak fish right there. Yeah. Well, it counts. Yep. If you would have showed up to the U.S. Open with that, though, I think they would have laughed at you. It yeah. would have been half an hour. It was over 12 inches, though. There he goes. Or is it 15 inches? Is it 15 for the U.S. Open? I or think no? 14. 14? I think. I don't know. Don't quote me on it. And this is a bio spawn with their little crawls here. It's a vile bug. This is the bile spawn vile bug I'm training on the Z Man oh, jig. Here they are. Yeah. So, the Z Man jig I got inside the mystery tackle box, and then that bile spawn vile, vile bug I'm tra trailing right there. So, managed to get it done. He was pretty deep, too. Man, he was weak. Maybe we'll get some more. Hopefully, we get some big ones, too. Some chunks that big. We're seeing them, but they're just not biting. Well, it looks like the, our choice to go by these cliffs works. I swear every time, right when we turn off the GoPro today, we're getting bites. Little guy, tiny little bass. We're gonna go ahead and let him go. Bite my hook when you're four pounder. Oh, that's a fish. Got him. Yeah, first, first cast to catch today. 
I'm being. Oh yeah, this one choked it too. Jeez, first choke of the trip. Nice little guy. We're catching dings today. I don't know what's up. These are tiny little fish. You stole my fish. Man. I literally just missed this fish and then you played cleanup duty again. Deep too, deep. Yes. I've missed nice one. literally eight or nine fish this trip. I keep missing them like crazy. Finally. Oh, and look at that hook just popped out. They're barely biting today. I had to cut down that worm from the mystery tackle box, that yum. Because the fishing's tough, and when it's super tough, you go small and you fish slow. Exactly what I did today paid off with a little smallie. Feels good. <laughs> I've literally, I'm serious, I'm not lying, I've missed probably eight fish today. Eight to ten fish. It's insane. Nice little smallie. He probably wouldn't even keep in, in the tournament, but. Go. It's too, baby. That's a little bit better than what we got. Big, big. This guy was in 37 feet of water. Nice little guy, nothing crazy, but better than what we've been catching. He'd probably keep, he'd get close. I don't know if he would. Oh. He would, if it was 12, he'd keep. I don't know what the length requirement is at the US Open, but during the local bass tournaments, it's 12. It's a nice one, too. These cliffs are paying off. We're actually catching down here. Nice bass, though. One of the better ones we've got. You got one? So Double up. <laughs> He set his pole down and caught one. Look at that. Double up. Double up. <laughs> this one's at least 20 inches. <laughs> I wonder if we can tape them together and it would count. <laughs> Look at that. Double. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hostile fish. Let me dip this guy so he don't. Yeah, so see they hang out in groups. Yeah, so we might have found a little school. This time of year, if you find one bass, chances are... There's going to be multiple in that same spot. We just caught these two guys in the same area. I drop shot mine about 37 feet of water. He's in the same area. He just, he was filming me. You just let your pole sit, didn't you? Yeah. Let us pole sit and he caught one. <laughs> That's crazy. But we're going to go and let him go. Maybe there's more on this little cliff here. Nice little bass. Here you go. So that's it for today. Uh, we ended up doing pretty good. Not bad. I mean, we didn't catch big fish, but we caught numbers today. So it was still a fun day overall. Uh, like I said, Lake Meach is a hard lake. Come this U.S. Open, you know, there's going to be a lot of people out here. And, you know, we didn't catch very many keepers. That's just how it is a lot of times out here at this lake this time of year. But other than that, I want to give, once again, I want to give a big thanks to Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring this video. Remember, guys, because you can use promo code SINCITY to get your first box for $5. That's pretty cheap. You guys can go ahead and support this channel by using that promo code also. If you guys do get it, you guys can cancel it at any time. You can keep it going as long as you want. They got great, great customer service, amazing customer service. They'll get back to you super fast if you have any problems with it or want to know anything about it. And uh, we had a great day out here. Like I said, we were using pretty much everything from the box. That's pretty much all we were using. And we ended up turning what started out as a bad day into a pretty good day just using those baits. So you guys can see they work. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention this earlier got myself a new hat a lot of you guys would comment you know i need a new hat it looked all jacked up and cut up and stuff i brought that thing everywhere with me and i still have it too i'll probably wear it eventually <laughs> these are the ones i like and uh finally got one but other than that i want to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you outdoors <laughs>